Simon, so I wrote this. This is the outhouse of myth. Well, that just can't be, because I know for a fact that's where I used to see the Sears Roebuck catalog and all those wondrous things, or as a child, I'd ponder and dream. Now, only one hole, that's all our outhouse had. One size fits all, and it made me kind of mad. Because I was so small, when I'd climb on the seat, It'd scare me to death because I'd dangle my feet. Well, I'd hang on real tight because I didn't want to fall down into that awful, smelly, dark hole. The outhouse, a privy, or whatever it be, was more than a place to uh, deposit, you see. I remember a time when that brother of mine was throwing rocks at little old me. I asked him to stop. I said, I'll start throwing back. Well, he just laughed and gave me another good whack. Well, I had enough. So I picked up a rock and I threw hard and straight. And my brother just dropped. I stood for a minute to take in what I'd done. I couldn't have done better if I'd have had me a gun. Uh, but he wasn't moving. He was still as could be. And there was no place to hide him, not even a tree. Then the outhouse I spied. Well, that place would do. I'd drag him inside and think this thing through. Mom would be mad, and that was for sure. So I locked that outhouse door. Now inside an outhouse, there's more than just flies. And from down in that hole, an aroma will rise. Well, I didn't know about ammonia back then, but that's just what was needed to revive him again. Well, it didn't take long for him to wake up. And just for a moment, he was weak as a pup. But then he remembered what I had done. And he didn't laugh, he didn't think it was fun. <laughs> but he doesn't throw rocks at me anymore. Because I just pointed at that outhouse door. <laughs>